Welcome back to the channel guys. It's your boy Aileen and we back today with another video man. So look first and foremost if you guys are new to the channel make sure y'all go down and hit that subscribe button man. And also just leave a like on the video as it helps the channel grow. Big thanks to you guys man. Big thanks to you guys. But anyways we are back today with another sneaker review. As you guys can see um, in the background I'm starting to move like shoes all over the place because um, big things coming up in the next month or two, man. So, yeah, just stay tuned to the channel. I'll keep y'all updated. But we are here today with another sneaker review. And if you guys know what dropped today, it is the Jordan 12 Royalty Taxis, man. So, look, um, right here we have the box, man. But just get into this drop. I think they pushed it back just because they've been pushing back a lot of Jordan releases due to, like, supply chain issues. But when I first seen this shoe online... I was like, yo, they're dropping taxis, but something's off about it. And they're including like gold, more gold hints on it as compared to the OG taxis. And they're calling it royalty taxi, which is kind of weird to me. But I mean, I get it. Personally, I'm calling these the Uber 12s or the Lyft 12s because they they the bougie taxi. You feel me? Like taxi 12 is just black and white with hints of gold. This one got black and white with more hints of gold. So, you know, I guess they up in it, you feel me? But anyways, let's just get into the unboxing. Right here, we have the box. They're coming with the OG Jordan box. Um, That's been coming out for like 12s. What else came out in these? Like, I think 11s came out in these. And they're just going with this brown and black box right here. And um, it's more of like the, the OG look, I guess, they're going after. And uh, but I'm glad that they started getting away from the black boxes. There was a period of time where if you guys ever cop Jordan mids, like Jordan was just coming in that black box with the gold jump man, or no, with the white jump man, and she was kind of whack. But yeah, I'm glad they're you know going back to like OG boxes or whatever. And yeah, most 12s do come in this type of box, and like I said, 11s as well. So yeah, you guys have it. It's like cardboard brown up top with the black Jordan jump man. Right here we have black, and it's like quality inspired by the greatest player ever, because um, it says down the 12s as well, and black all around with some red right here on the up i guess the upper part of the box on the lid and then on the bottom it is brown as well that copper brown all right as for the size tag right here this is a size nine so i'll be bringing you guys in on feet as you guys can see uh retail on this pair was 190 dollars. so in new york after tax that comes out to like 206 and some change and the color code is white slash metallic gold and black so yeah let's just get into the unboxing man boom all right, so first things first, um, on the inside, it's brown. And it has this brown piece of paper. Usually comes with like white or gray, but this pair is coming with brown. And boom, off the unboxing. All right, so the first thing I noticed about this shoe that was different was the black laces. But I am so happy that they came with white laces as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna give you guys a B-roll to look at all the details and stuff of the sneaker. And yeah, I might just throw in a pair of white laces in the other pair as well, so you guys can see like the different contrast. So let's cut to the B-roll. That's so deep. Alright, so coming back from the b-roll hope you guys got a good look at the details of the sneaker overall the colorway is pretty plain but it is a very very clean sneaker taxi 12s were like one of my favorites um growing up so yeah I'll, probably like my favorite pair of 12s but yeah like i said it's pretty plain so let's just jump into the colorway breakdown so as for the colorway on the taxi 12s it's pretty simple mainly black and white with gold accents this pair like i said has more gold accents than the og pair but it's still a very, very clean sneaker. So yeah, the upper is made of white and black. Um, most of the upper is in this white from the back all the way to the toe box and going around the other side. And then around the toe box, they have this black leather. Um, and then they have the same thing on the medial side of the sneaker. And then the midsole is in black up front with white being in the back right here. And then the outsole is purely black with the white jump in and a white hint right there. And then they have the gold accents, as you guys can see right here for Jumpman. 
um, and then on the inside as well. And then uh, gold accents right here on these like gold eyelets and the, for the laces and gold down the tongue for the stitching for Jumpman and two, three. Oh, the tongue is in white and the sock liner is in black. Now for the back right here, you have like a black panel going down with different hints of white and gold. So you got the this part right here with the black Jumpman in white and then the 23 is in white, but then Jordan stitched in gold right here. I don't know which side it is, this side, kaboom. And it does come with two pairs of laces, like I pointed out. You have the white laces right here, which I definitely think is more clean if you throw them in taxis, because you get more of the OG look, and it comes with black laces already laced on the sneaker. So yeah, that pretty much breaks down the colorway. Let's talk about materials. As for material, we have leather on the upper of the sneaker. Um, with you know this they got this little foam part on the midsole which is you know kind of noticeable but it's not but then they do have a carbon fi fiber mid plate which makes the shoe bouncy and um a shoe that you can look at is like the jordan 13s and the 11s they also have this plate on the those sneakers that makes the shoe more bouncy but yeah like i said the upper and the tongue is mainly in leather and then they have this foam missile and a rubber outsole. And they do include several parts that are plastic, like this Jordan right here. This part is in plastic. Also on the inside is in plastic. And I think this gold part right here is plastic as well, because it really doesn't feel like metal. So definitely plastic. So yeah, just leather, plastic, and rubber, and then the carbon fiber mid plate in the sneaker. Now as for sizing on Jordan 12s, I would recommend going true to size on them because yeah, they're not like, I would say like sixes or fives where you know you, you could go down half a size or even ones where you have to go down half a size these fit pretty much true to size so i am a size eight and a half nine i fit both of them but i do like to get a nine so i could have a little bit of wiggle room in the front of the sneaker so yeah definitely just get your true size in jordan 12s now with sizing comes comfort like the verdict for jordans is like most jordans are pretty heavy as compared to other sneakers that you're looking for and comfort but jordan 12 they have this bouncy feeling in them because of the carbon fiber mid plate and it is pretty comfortable man i do have to say like the leather is not that you know hard plasticky leather on dunks and it's pretty plush so i do think these are one of the more comfortable jordans so i would recommend it being like a 7 out of 10 as for comfort but they are pretty heavy though so if you're looking for a more lightweight sneaker you're not really looking into jordans as for a comfort perspective but you could play ball in these though so you know that's a bonus as for the comfort aspect so yeah now let's just jump to a quick little on feet on them i'm gonna throw them on with some gray sweats and i'm gonna show you guys both colorways up the laces so yeah let's cut that and then we're gonna come back wrap things up with my resale predictions and my final opinion so let's cut to the on feet Alright, so coming back from the on feet, hope you guys like the look on feet. I would probably throw these on with like sweats, man. So either uh, gray sweats or black sweats or whatever other sweats that you wear. I think 12s look good with sweats. I'm um, kind of past the area where I'm wearing like, if I'm wearing jeans, I'm mainly going to wear threes, ones, um, or fours. I don't really wear all my other, and sevens, I guess. But I don't really wear like Jordans with jeans that much anymore. But yeah, let's just talk about resale on this sneaker, man. So right now, I think the market sneaker market is kind of like dead. It's kind of dry. I feel like there's not a lot of money out and inflation is high. So people are, you know, they're, they're panicking a little. But these are a classic colorway, even though they put a little twist to it. So these are doing pretty well right now. I think it's around like 240 resale for most sizes, which is not bad. Um, if you're selling on StockX or anything like that, they do take a fee so you're not making too much. But if you can't find buyers for around the ass price, that's not bad. That's about like $35, $40 a pair, which isn't bad at the end of the day. Um, I personally think that these will probably go up over time. But right now, we just have to see what the stock is like. Because I know stores, they have a lot of stock of this sneaker. So yeah, you guys just have to play that by the ear. If you guys see that these are sitting for like two weeks, then you guys got to think like in the, in the next month that resale is going to be pretty low on these. But... Even though there was pretty good stock, I think the demand is there for these, man. I haven't sold out of all my pairs, which is kind of like 
weird because this is like more of a classic colorway but i haven't been promoting that much either so yeah i do think this is going to go up um to probably to like two like high 200 300 range and yeah that should be the resale prediction of this shoe right here now to wrap things up with my final opinions um i'm kind of on the edge on if i want to keep a pair or should i just sell all my pairs i just kind of want to keep a pair i do kind of want to keep a pair just because of the nostalgia of the taxi 12s like it was my like my favorite 12 and i used to have a pair in high school but the gold is kind of throwing it off but then again it's not that big of a deal once you throw in the white laces but then again i don't know i have a lot of sneakers so i don't know if these are going to be added to the collection i'll probably just keep a size eight and a half or nine on the side like i always do and then i'll make my decision from there but yeah i don't think i have any 12s in the collection right now so i might i might add these man but anyways that's the end of this video y'all let me do know down in the comments man were you guys able to pick up a pair and what you guys think of this colorway and the retro of this sneaker man but anyways it's your boy a lynn i'm checking out y'all make sure y'all stay safe and stay swaggy man we out